Okay, so as I was saying, let's say we have a. Sorry, here. One, two, three, four. Say this is our array, and its size sizes eight. And let's say um, what was filled was here, 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 and here. These are all filled buckets, and you have to insert something that's going to go in here. Um, I guess it's zero, but whatever. Um, since you're colliding here, you're going to have to check if if double hashing, let's say it's step size, was equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, is that right? 1, 2, 3, yeah. If its step size was 4, your incremental cost would be um, 2, because you just have to step here and then step over here, which is empty. So your incremental cost here would be 2 if the step size was 4. That means double hashing was better. Um, otherwise, let's say you're just inserting it into an empty slot, then your incremental cost is 1, and then you could just, essentially it would be the same thing as double hashing, where you just insert it. And But the, the problem is, let's say you're inserting this, and then your step size was something like 1. That means if you did double hashing, then it would be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Your incremental cost would be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Um, instead, let's say Brent's method, you, if your double hashing was 5 and your step size was 1, for Brent hashing, um, let's say whatever was here, this step size was 1, 2, 3, 4. That means you're substituting this in here. That would mean you have an incremental cost of one for substituting this in here because you didn't you just didn't step, but you just moved in here. Um, you have to move this whatever was in here back four. That means you're just adding one because this one moved just one one time. Um, but otherwise, let's say its step size was two. That means it's going to be one two one two yeah. So it would be, Brent hashing would be equal to 3, which is still better than the incremental cost of 5. But you also have to check um, if this step value is 1, it also has to check this one here. If, let's say, you moved here and then you found out that its incremental cost here was um, 3, but then you moved here, which is 2, um, I guess this is a case where it doesn't work. Because since you know that you moved here 1, 2, this is already going to be, um, because you're, you're supposed to add something here. Because you're, you're either going to move this out, it's going to be um, greater than or equal to 3. So this would win always for this scenario. But, um, let's see. Let's say instead, before, you... Um, the same scenario where it's like this or something and then you're trying to add something in there um, let's say for Brent hashing for this one it was better than double hashing let's say the incremental cost was like 1 plus 3 where this one had to move three times like 1 2 3 something weird I guess let's say this one's blocked out too so 1 2 3 and then it adds in here because let's say this step size was 2, so 1, 2, and then back over this way. That means you you had 1 to put it in here, substitute it, and 3 to move this value over to a new slot. But you also have to check this one. And the step size for whatever this was, it could be actually 2 also. If the initial data value was step size of 2, then I step over 1, 2. So my incremental cost for that one would be 2 plus something. And let's say this value here moves into an empty slot in one turn. So its step size was, let's say, 4. That means it'll find an empty slot in 1. And since this is 4 and this is 3, this one will win out. And then your next one, your incremental cost is guaranteed to be 3. That means it's not even going to go into the for loop because this is already um, greater than or equal to this minus 1. But yeah, um, I hope that kind of clears things up. I think I might have been a little too hasty, but yeah, um, 
in the notes, there's like an example with like cow, pig, something like animals or something like that. And you could kind of see like um, how it moves. But then you also you have to um, take into account that um, there are different step sizes and different start values for each one of these. And you have to maintain each of the step values. Um, and find the incremental cost and then you could stop finding the incremental cost once you found an incremental cost low enough so that your incremental cost for stepping two three four let's say plus something plus something plus something plus something um, let's say this was mm, four that means this was three um, you had to move three times from what you took out to a new slot that's empty and this one, let's say, was also 2, which is 4. But let's say, oh, and now you could stop because you know this is going to be, um, whatever you put in here, the lowest value you could put in here is 1, which is going to be 4. So you don't even need to start, you don't even need, um, need to look in here because 3 is already, um, you know, greater than or equal to this minus 1. And so you could stop. And that's when you stop and then... You also have to go back and check if double hashing is more efficient and whatnot. So it's kind of confusing, but yeah, I hope that helps.